I had to drink wine for the video. I'm good though. We're good to talk. Okay. Are you good? Are you, are okay. you good to drive? I like the outfit. <laughs> <No. laughs> <No. laughs> this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> Gonna be you know what? Do okay, I have alcohol? Can you still hear me? I have a okay. I, I have a Copperberg, which I think Connor Quest bought like a year ago. I also don't have a bottle opener, so I can't open this. I could use a mm, knife, which right? I don't get. I don't mean. Oh, a you knife mean you want to savor the top of it? Savor it. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you not have a sword? I got yeah. a knife. There's yeah. no way you can save yeah. a side right. of bottle open with a knife. Let's Just don't go hurt with yourself, that, please. Sure. Just don't hurt yourself, please. Please, Rusted. They, you, we, they just sort of. We need you. That. Find the seam. Find the seam, Rusted. You find the seam. <laughs> this oh, is so weird. The There's the seam, right? You put the knife. You put the knife on the seam, and you just swipe it up the top of the neck of the bottle. Oh! I did it! I did it! Oh my god! I did it! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> He's gaming. I fucking love it. Uh, how did I? I how did I do that? I never like click the emails I don't care about, so I have like thirteen oh, yeah. thousand like, emails. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, I've got like forty thousand unread emails. Okay, your sound really. Uh, oh yeah, uh, your your audio is super quiet now. What? I, I, did he blow up his interface or something? I, 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 wait, no, no. Did I'm, you break no, no, your it's mic? Totally on stream. I think it's okay. Holy shit. I was to say, it sounds good to me now. I so think I'm you might have water damaged your expensive mic. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I genuinely might have water damaged my expensive yeah, mic. Because, because, yeah, there, I can see a little bits of liquid that might oh, have sprayed no. over it. Oh, and my this is a sensitive. God. This microphone's like 2,000. Okay, you sound, you sound better now. You sound better okay, now. Sound better. It's Maybe it's just. I was just drying it. That's why. Uh. ASMR. <laughs> Wait, you sound fine now. I sound fine? You oh, sound literally you're, you're fine. Good. I just you're had good. to dry it, guys. It's all I, I had to good. do. I think Hello everyone, welcome to episode 34 of Isekai Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so prerequisites, Daniel Green is drunk. Uh, because he's he was drinking for a video. I don't substantiate. You're also a lot quieter than you were before. He's <laughs> 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 just resting it against his face. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll and I'll drink with this. All right, so it's okay. Leo. It's okay. Um, and then in an effort to join my brother in solidarity, I decided to fish out some cider that was put in my fridge a year ago. I'm not one to drink, uh, but Connor Quest put the cider, and then we opened it with a with a knife, and then everything got damaged because it went everywhere, <laughs> including my microphone. So if my microphone spasms at all during this this episode, yeah, it's because it's got alcohol. In it, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a good PSA for you, kids. Um, so, and now I'm drinking said alcohol. So, I think me, Briggs, and Daniel Green uh, are, are going to be a little bit intoxicated for this episode. Might as well. I probably uh, shouldn't be drinking because I'm uh, recovering from a cold. But then I'm a, I, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a drink, drink some, bad influences. Drink I some straight whiskey why. that'll clear out your sinuses. So. My, my brain was straight up thought you were gonna say I shouldn't be drinking because I'm a recovering addict. And I was like, oh. <laughs> honestly, I was gonna say something else, but I, it's just better I don't. <laughs> well, I'm an alcoholic, but no, hey, other I'm people just, are drinking, so I was gonna make a joke that like uh, like I, and I started drinking because I have a problem. Problem, but that was like mm. <laughs> obviously yeah, it would have been a joke. Yeah. Everybody's drunk. Even the mic's drunk. There you go. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Um Welcome back to episode 34. It is the Rule 34 episode. I don't know if there's any yeah. Isekai D D Rule 34 out there yet, but if there is I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. I know there's one piece D D. Yeah, there's definitely I, one I piece know, D. &D yeah, Rule yeah. 34. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But for, oh, but for I, I'll make Shark yeah. Rule 34 right now. Yeah? Okay. The shark meets up with Anthony late one night. Why Anthony? They're beautiful. No, 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 let him, let him finish. <laughs> let, him, let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> the shark raises his hand and slowly caresses Anthony's chin before saying, I felt it too. <laughs> he leans in, licking his ear, moistly, inserting his tongue. I don't think moistly finding... is a word, is it? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> you're <ruining> the <laughs> <moment>. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> so you, you're uh, doing this and some guy walks into the room like, um, actually, uh, I don't think moistly is a word. It's Norman. It's Norman. <laughs> it's Norman. <laughs> <laughs> His tongue probes finding what can only be described as golden nuggies. All right, oh, Daniel Green, you have two okay. choices. You can either turn up your microphone game or always talk directly into your microphone. <laughs> but please don't do both. I'm not leaning <laughs> down to mess with the microphone volume. You're getting me talking directly. Okay, we're into getting directly into the microphone that's then. Fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. If, that's fine. It, sound, it actually sounds fine. That's a good level. Um... <laughs> So, the last episode, Anthony disguised himself as Councilman Loeb if you, mm-hmm. to, to infiltrate uh, the, the residential district of the Arm and Hands, that's the higher mm-hmm. class area, to get a one-on-one meeting with General Bone so that you guys could assassinate him. Yeah. Um, because he controls the military, he controls the blood, the, force, the blood, the blood force. force, are what stops people from leaving. Uh, for context, so we- <laughs> you, the, the, the characters are in a giant sand golem city. Yeah, this it's- is a horrible recap. <laughs> we're trying to get we're trying to get people out of the sand golem city. And, um, and, and so that we can steal its heart and blow it up. Yeah, and the reason they need the well, heart... The blood force won't let everyone leave, the, so we're trying to kill the guy who leaves the blood the, force. The reason yeah. that the heart is the key to the room that has the uh, barred tower in it yeah. that they need exactly. um, to leave. Um, actually, actually, uh, moistly should only be used when referring to the snussy. No. Ah, right, yes, yeah, the, oh, All right, the yeah. snussy. Um, uh, okay. Gone. So right. the last thing that happened was... Uh, Nerve got captured by you guys gave him over so he's being he's being held by two blood force members and you guys are all around that little thing by the front of the house and Anthony is by general bone and just gave the code word pineapple juice to initiate combat and you guys are going to get a surprise round in combat yeah um i realized um, that i should have made you guys roll initiative whilst we were waiting for daniel green <laughs> but well you is. know um yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, all right, it's cool. Uh, so so we should roll initiative now. So yeah, yeah I, I, you're I, a roll initiative now. So Hachiko is there here as well, right? Russ, did you remember way back when I told you to shut the fuck up? Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> really, really sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's now entered sympathetic drunk phase. It's okay, dude. You don't have to apologize for that. Okay. You can tell me to shut up whenever. We've all told Rustage to shut up. People often another, tell me to shut up. Um, I, That's really sad. They shouldn't do that. It's okay. I'm going to draw a dog for Hachiko. <laughs> You're just going to draw a dog. Um, That's a good dog, you know? I Yeah. N- no, it's n- <laughs> <laughs> It's not a good dog, and nobody's going to so see it. stream can't see that. Um, uh, that's hilarious. Wait, is that red little thing the dog? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I can show the dog on stream really briefly. I, I just showed it. I just linked it in Discord in the in the Rustage D and D thing. Uh, <laughs> wait, if I if I, I do, you can share it. You can show it on screen too. Yeah. There it is. There's the dog. Yeah, let's look at that dog, <laughs> guys. There he is. That is a good dog. Next, next Behold to, the dog. Next to Bone Slow, there's the dog. Hope you guys enjoyed that. What a wonderful creature. What a wonderful creature. Sorry. Sorry, blind people. And no one ever good. buy Moosehead Raspberry Rattler. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Gotcha. We should do like right. anti ad placements as opposed to, you know, yeah. instead of having. That's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should do that. Do, is All there... right, I'll start. I'll start. Twizzlers fucking suck. Don't buy them. All right, okay. Um, Schwabity, do you have an anti ad placement? Oh, um. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay, Daniel Green, what's your anti ad placement? So we all act like people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul aren't genuine sociopaths who have managed to make themselves very powerful people in society, and we act like maybe they could be redeemed one day. No, they couldn't. No. They're genuinely yeah, terrible no, but, people. But, 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 but Daniel no Green, empathy. Daniel Green. And so buying the drink prime is actually a horrible thing. <laughs> yeah. You're lining the pocket of someone who has filmed a dead I, body. I agree. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 Daniel Green. You run such a piece of shit. No, no, no. I, I want to. I, 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 listen, I agree with you. So 100%, which is why I have the express thing where I just never mentioned them because that's how they get popular is by people criticizing them. Wait, wait, but we did we did have one anti ad placement already, he, and it was actually if you don't Prime. like them, don't buy but Prime. 
Yeah. Do, do you not remember, like, on one episode of East Sky D&D where I was talking oh, about shit, how I'm giving me fucking heart palpitations? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've already... We've already, <laughs> we've already done the anti-pri... Anti-prime ad. Anti-prime, yeah. <laughs> And then Briggs, you could just just every competitor of G Fuel you could think of. Oh, just... <laughs> oh I'm talking about really being repetitive. Instead, then I don't know. Like I think Mother Teresa's probably a piece of shit. So. <laughs> oh. uh, I should have put her in Isekai D and D. Mother Teresa like rocks up, like "Hello, I'm Mother Teresa," and you're like "Bitch," and you like nut her and start beating the shit out of her on the ground. Wait, yeah. I nut in her? What? No, 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 nut no. her. Like, All right. Like British slang doesn't translate. No. You know, All right, no, so... like you, that's when you like headbutt them. <laughs> yeah, nutting someone is headbutting them. Someone. I feel like you're making you're making this up. No, Mark's no, backing me up. If you nut someone, you headbutt them. Yeah, because you're 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 you're. All right. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's, I'm really sorry for telling you to shut the fuck up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for cutting you off, Matt. It's okay. All right. I, I, I must say I do love Isekai D&D. Not for the D&D, though. No, no. It was just, it's the chaos behind yeah. the scenes that I love. The yeah. shark you are first. <laughs> okay, who are we Wait, fighting? Wait, no. But before, <laughs> before initiative, I wanted to sleep. Oh, you sleep. I wrote it down, remember? Uh, no, 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 that's gonna. Episode, was, you're gonna uh, use sleep when it's going. This is a yeah. surprise round, so you you'll be able to do sneak on your on your turn. Sleep, uh, sleep yeah, on your turn. But n but now, to be honest, I'm confused looking at this board. Cause I thought like we were next to a couple people, and then the actual threat was further away. Yeah, that we were. Gonna it, the yeah, actual yeah, threat is, is further away. So we're all zoom we're all out. Blood floss. Zoom we're out. I'm way in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So Anthony like is over with General Bone, like yeah. Yeah. one on one over near a tree. We're outside the house with the Blood Force members. <laughs> Got it. I just, it was zoomed in, and I thought everyone conglomerated together. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay my bad, my bad. Oh, uh, Yog is with us oh, too. So God. Rush just draw, yeah, draw yeah, a wolf. Yog's here. Oh yeah, Yog is Yog, here. Yog, Yog, or a bear. Sorry, was he a were bear or a werewolf? He's a were bear. He's a were bear. He's a were bear. Yeah. Um. Oh gosh, do I have Yog on like a different? Like plane of existence. Mm, I'm not sure. Like he is aware that he's a were bear, though. He's yeah. a he's a and he can't become were bear um, when he's awake. Awake. <laughs> yeah. Well, R Norman could fix that pretty quickly. So he's just a whole god then. Oh yeah. What if you cast? What if you cast oh sleep on Yog? <laughs> Yo! If you cast Wait. sleep on Yog. <laughs> Isn't that one of those things where you could choose to fail it if you wanted to and just fall asleep? No, because it's based on hit points. points. It's based on it's hit points. You can, you can choose to fail, but yeah, it's based on hit points. Sleep works so weird. Yeah, he's yeah. not that. He doesn't have that many hit points as regular guy. Okay. That's the dog. Is yeah. it night? We're in a giant he golem. Might, so... The issue is he will just attack us, though. It's also so not night it. yet. It's not night. I do have to stress that it's oh, not night right, yet. Right. It's like the afternoon. Uh, you, you guys, right. know you guys are going to try and achieve everything before night time. Yeah, because um, yeah, that's the that's yeah. when that's when the golem moves and everyone has to be tied down or else they go everywhere. <laughs> that sounds horrifying. <laughs> Imagine y'all just bouncing it's, up and down <laughs> as a web. <laughs> <laughs> do, okay. do they just have like in the streets? They have like harnesses to just put yourself into. Yeah, and like, like the higher districts. You down a bed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, not in the lower districts. That's you know that's the issue. Uh, the Good luck to you, Shark. You you start. By the way, who are we fighting and why again? You're fighting. <laughs> you're fighting the blood force. Oh, just uh, start shooting, Shark. They just like the police. No, I don't kill people anymore. Character consistency. Right. Yeah. That's right. Character development. Start non-lethally shooting them. <laughs> no. With your bat. <laughs> with your bat. With Shark has a new chapter in his life. Where's the nearest one to me? Point, point them out. Um, like there, feet there were two of them holding nerve at the moment. So one yeah, of them, they speak yeah. English. They do speak English. Okay. The they... shark, now wearing monk's robes. Is yeah. wearing... <laughs> Class <laughs> change. Wait, 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 wait. Where did he get these monk robes from? <laughs> it was off stream. Let it go. Um, uh, one of them going... looks at you and goes, hey, what, weren't you wearing a suit before? Hey, I'm a man of many talents, but what I would like to say to you right now 
is I don't think violence is necessarily the answer because we've basically bathed in an ocean of baby blood to get here, and it's fulfilled we? us in no. I do. I, I actually. Shut the fuck up, everybody! <laughs> I mean, my peaceful mind. Can't kick um, you. So I just want to say that we could possibly resolve this with our words and find a mutually beneficial way. And if we don't, I'm gonna hurt you really, really bad. But I want to avoid that. So could I, we just maybe open a dialogue before I, we get into the blood? I do want to state that this is supposed to be like your surprise attack and catching them off guard. So as you I mean, are saying this, guard. all of the other people will be making their attacks. Like yeah, you yeah, do not fine. have enough time to get this sentence out. So you can do that. But as you are talking, uh, everyone else is, everyone else is just know, beating the shit hey, out of them. No, 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 no. Everyone here is willing to give up their surprise for me to possibly avoid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, Look, we're I don't gonna think that, massacre these people. They know that. No, 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 Mr. Green. They're not gonna have enough time to register what you're doing because the idea <laughs> is everyone's immediately attacking. So we heard pineapple juice, and, and we, we just we, you yeah. just went, and Moving you choose that opportunity to go. Maybe we shouldn't fight, but immediately <laughs> nerve and yog. <laughs> so what you're telling me is I roll with a disadvantage. Are you <laughs> <laughs> and you would roll with disadvantage anyway, because we're in. Yeah, sure. Do a persuasion with disadvantage, dude. Good luck. Deal. No, this is in character for me right now. I'm doing very it's good. All, it's good, but you won't get the results of this until. I won't tell you if it succeeds. It's 21 is crazy. What the fuck? Oh, 22 <laughs> and a 21, <laughs> and his booking initiative was 20. It, Okay, can, I, right, I, right, so can we can we rule it that as we're all about to attack, Norman like overhears the sharks like pacifist waves, and instead of attacking like, lethally, he tries to put them to sleep. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But I do, I do want to say, I do want to say that you're not gonna know the result of this persuasion check until after this round of combat. Uh, yep. Okay. So. <laughs> Wow. Like 21 with disadvantage. He what only a has roll. a plus four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, immediately Nerve, Nerve slips out a dagger that he has on him because he has so many daggers and he's going to try and stab one of the Blood Force members that has him <laughs> in in his grasp. Um, he crits! <laughs> It's not gonna do that much damage. Um, oh, nerve! That's nerve attacking. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 That that stab is. Stab somebody in the thigh. Just. He, <laughs> and then the blood force member will make a, a a Constitution saving throw, or potentially something bad happens to him. I'm gonna assume he gets paralyzed because his name's Nerve. Yeah. Um. He gets yeah. he gets paralyzed. Oh, that's good. Because his name is Nerve. Um, so <laughs> no, <laughs> Nerve pulls out the dagger, stabs one of the guys in the thigh. Um, he, just as he was being swayed by the shark, uh, Yog comes over and he's gonna stab the same guy. Um, Yog is just a whole guard in terms of his regular stats. So, oh. He's still tough. Yeah. Do I have a whole guard sheet? I have a werebear sheet, but he's not a werebear yet. I must have a whole guard. You guys have fought with whole guards before. Yeah, we fought a bunch of Yog. We fought Yog. Well, no, that was when yeah. he was a bear. Oh, here yeah, we go. Right. I got it. I got it. Um. Um, I, I, that wasn't a whole guard sheet. That was a uh, that was, was broken, broken wing. wing. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was the same rough stat line. He has a spear mm -hmm. and it misses. Uh, now it's General Bone's turn, but it's a surprise round, so he doesn't have it. Norman, you're up. Okay. I want to like say that like I'm about to attack them with like. Uh, let me think. Like something that actually would do damage, like chromatic orb or magic missile or something. And then I overhear the shark being like, we shouldn't fight. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'll try to put these guys to sleep. Okay, good luck. So I have to roll yeah, a 5d8, and the total this is this run. Are you are you trying to put Yog to sleep? Um, so it's from a point that I choose, and it's going to depend on the roll, right? Do I, like, yeah, and how it, many it, people it, get put to sleep? And it goes from the it lowest health. It is only health. targets you choose as well. Yeah, it is lowest target. hit points. Yeah, and it is targets oh. you choose, as, as Mark oh, says. Oh, it's only so. targets I choose. Yeah. I don't think I would want to do it to Yogg. I would it, just do it to, like, the the two people in front of us, right. I guess. Yeah, they are quite... Go ahead. It's 5d8, right? Yes. Why is there d4, d6, d8 on the fucking sheet, but not... Oh, I gotta type it out. Yeah, slash R. Slash R space. I don't like typing. Is it 5d8? I, I just pulled that out of my asshole. 
It is five. Slash okay, so. R rule thirty four has saved me from some dark times. Twenty one. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna give you a choice here, Norman. That is not okay. enough to put one of the blood force members to sleep. Oh. But it is enough to put Yolk to sleep. If you wanna pivot. Your I choice. Like... Might be worth a try, dude. I just I worry that he's gonna go on a rampage, but fuck it, man. It's kind of fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking that into account, I will right, allow it. I will do. I will use it on Yog. I, I, <laughs> and it's not conventional. But okay, so Norman, you start casting the sleep, but you can see the blood force. They look very awake. They've had their full eight hours. They don't feel drowsy. But Yog, he's getting sleepy. So you pivot oh, last minute to Yog. These blood force members must be using G fuel. Uh, uh, they all pull out their emergency G fuel canisters and. <laughs> Okay, Yogg immediately falls asleep, and I actually do have the werebear as a thing. You guys never fought him, I don't think. Uh, we did, we did. Oh, you did, you did, okay. Um, we killed him, actually. Yeah, here he is. And so Yogg clocks to sleep, and as he falls asleep, suddenly his body shifts into a bear form, and he comes back. Um, he's on the same initiative, so he's not coming yet. Um... And Norman... That's a problem for a lot of guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happens. When your initiative is so low that you can't ejaculate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Boneslaw's gonna run up uh, and just start doing his thing, uh, which is slamming. He comes for with his four forearms flexing with great power. He's going to grab the hand of one of the Blood Force members that's currently grabbing Nerve, and he's going to try and um, punch him in the face. 15 doesn't hit. He has two. Other arm. 29 does hit. 12 damage slamming into the Blood Force member. Anthony, you're up. You've just okay, yelled out so the pineapple juice. I've just been like, yeah, so we, we really need to grab some pineapple juice. Okay. And what does, uh, yeah, what does Bone do when I shout pineapple well, juice? Well, at the moment he's, he's still... startled, right? Everything right. that's happening at the moment is going, like, the moment you've said juice, Norman has casted sleep, Bone yeah. Slaw started punching, Yogg's but gone But is Bone, weather. is Bone hearing all this, though? He From probably will hear you. Okay, he hears me, and I shout pineapple juice, and I'm like, oh, that's just, that's just the way I exclaim things. Sorry. Oh, you, uh, you're, you're thinking that he doesn't notice the stuff that's going on. Yeah. Um, that's a does he or does he not? You guys are far away enough um, yeah. that I will. We will do a perception roll for General Bone because, and we'll yeah. we'll base it off that. That seems fair. That okay. seems fair to me. Yeah. hundred a hundred feet is a lot of feet. It is a lot it of feet. A lot of but to be feet, fair, yeah. Yog turned into a werebear, and that's a lot of noise. And he did kind of go like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I just yell pineapple juice, and then just like, oh yeah, hi. I'm just trying to get him to look towards me. <laughs> like, Okay, yeah, right. so, um, let's say, let's, let's, 16, if he gets what if you did What if you did, like, a performance versus perception <laughs> Yeah, we challenge. can do that. Yeah, okay, like okay, okay, okay. This okay. feels like a contest. Okay, do I'm a just, contest. Uh, if, if I have to pretend in Loeb's body that I'm, like, having a stroke, I'll, <laughs> I'll do that. I'll okay, go sure. ahead. Do, do whatever you want. Performance or deception or whatever. Okay, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Shout pineapple juice, and then I'm gonna pretend I'm choking. Anthony's an EMT. I know how to mimic choking, and, like, I'm having a serious <laughs> right. heart attack okay, or something right then now. Okay, then you have advantage because of your previous knowledge of knowing how to choke my medical <laughs> so, my medical knowledge so even right. deception i think deception now advantage deception it all goes back to anthony and the shark and knowing yeah. how to choke 19. 19 how to choke all right perception oh critical oh, hit oh my god Holy shit. all right fuck it thunder oh. wave in the face <laughs> <laughs> he, he is still surprised this round, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. If he's like, if I'm like thunder, like I'm like, I'm like he, pineapple juice, and, and I'm having a heart attack, but he just looks back and sees everything going on yeah. with his men. I just, yes. I just like thunder wave him in the you face and just knock him on his second. ass. Try to do that. What is going on funny. here? <clears throat> the funniest part of this oh. is that means in the distance, right as the shark is like, I preach peace. There's just a boom. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, I imagine Bone like looks back to see everything happening and then looks back at me like, what's going on? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> boom. Um, <laughs> like, okay. I do want to say the shark. You do say I preach peace, and then immediately a giant werebear what? forms next to you. 
<laughs> it's the rare bear of peace. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna move a little bit over here, so I'm trying to knock him closer to them. Uh, he has to make a, a, a con save. A con save. He's he's yeah. a, he's actually decent at that. Fifteen, oh but God, he, he fails. Wait, no, does yeah. he succeed? No, wait. Yeah, it should the automatically say on my sheet. It's no, it's my okay. It says on here my spell save is DC fourteen. On my sheet it says DC fifteen, but I think he still saves either way. Okay. Yeah. You meet it, you match. Yeah. 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 You match it, you beat it. Sorry. You match it, you beat it. So he takes half damage. You beat it. He takes half damage. Two D eight. So you burst it, but he he stands strong. Um, roll you at two D eight damage. Okay. So he takes what three damage? Three damage. (laughs) Wait. So wait. He doesn't even need to stand strong. You sort of just blow some air on his face. It's just like and he goes. I just slap him basically <laughs> in the face. No, it, you do like this dramatic move where you put your hand right up to him, and then you just yeah. you sort of just like pat him on the cheek. And he goes, oh, that, oh, that hurt. <laughs> um, Cody, you're up. Yeah, I'm. I'm torn between trying to cast spells that will help us befriend the Werebear Yog and get him to fight for us instead of attacking us. Or just also going beast mode. Um, <laughs> just, you could tell going sicko sm- mode. If you go into a bear mode and just like the were bear doesn't attack you because he sees you as one of his kind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me just say, going beast mode is very rarely not worked out great for people. Like, no, it looks fantastic. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, yeah. Think of great beast mode events. We have like the Attack on Titan, OJ Simpson. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your Honor, I went beast mode. I'm gonna turn into a rhinoceros. I must say, I never know what's gonna come out of Daniel's mouth. I yep, no, and now he's drunk too, so it's like, you know. Okay, I love turn it. into I a rhino. Love you. I love you, bro. Do we, do we have a rhino character sheet? I, you I, I have it. Okay, you uh, have, have it. You do it. It's 45 it. health, 11 AC. Alright, I'll put the 45 on your blue HP bar. 40 speed, and um, if I if I charge at least 20 feet towards something before I hit it, um, it does double damage, so All I'm right. going to, or it does double dice. So I'm going to actually charge it. So I know there's the the blood force that there's are holding. There's the two nerve. that are holding nerve, but there are two that are like further away. That were, down the road they were guarding away. the perimeter. Yeah, I know they're going to be a problem, so I'm going to charge at them. Good idea. Um, so I'm going to charge at one of them for 40 feet. Yep. Smash into him and then try and gore him, which is a d20. Go ahead. Plus seven. Rhino mode. Please. I think you've ever turned into a rhino. 26! Um, do it. that hits! Alright, so it's gonna do 4d8. Alright, do that 4d8. Plus Oops. 5. Plus 5, oh my god. 22, 22 damage. damage. He has to do a strength saving throw or be, be knocked prone. Oh god, he's probably gonna be knocked prone. Wait, one of them uh, is paralyzed, isn't it? 15. Yeah, this is not the paralyzed one. Oh, okay. One of, the, one of the ones that's next to nerve is paralyzed. I'm in the opposite direction. Uh, right. strength. Um, he critically failed. So he knock- fails. All right, so he's knocked prone. I'm gonna say because Very he critically nice. failed, not over- only is he knocked prone, but he's gonna take an extra one damage as he falls to the ground. He like hits his <laughs> head in a funny way, and and his Thank helmet. Making- Sorry, <clears throat> what were you gonna say? Thank you for making fall damage a thing. As someone who falls often and hurts themselves in real life, <laughs> you, feel like you, you like lift your leg up and it's it covered in seen. scrapes and bruises. Yeah. Genuinely, this bad boy's got some bruises on him. Uh, the the blood force member when he falls to the ground his helmet comes off um, oh. and you see this like? bloody um, he's got <coughs> he's got dark messy hair he's got mm-hmm. copper skin like a like a and he's got piercing yellow eyes um, oh. and it, it's interesting Does he have a kind face so it's interesting because his skin and ears say sulkin but he only has two arms mm. um, oh. this one. Some of them have four arms, some of them have two arms, but this one only has two arms, but he, he has... Have we ever seen features. anyone that looks like a Sulkin with only two arms? No. I don't no. think so. Huh. Abomination! <laughs> I stop him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. That's my turn, that's my turn. Okay, Little Feather's probably gonna back you up, Cody, and just start firing yeah. shots at the person in- <laughs> on the ground. Um, uh... You get disadvantage for range attacks against prone but, targets, but, so maybe she should just a, attack. But it's like... a surprise round, so she just does regular attack. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, which I guess you guys would have also had advantage on your hits, but they will hit anyway. Um, True. She's so gonna fire twice. Uh, one of them hits, doing seven damage. Nice. 
Uh, I don't know what noise a rhino makes, but I make that sound. Oh, yeah. guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. I just want to say, I, I moved, and so I now live in a house where my literally five feet in front of the window I'm sitting in front of is a graveyard, and I just had this oh. moment of like, I'm behaving so badly. And wow. A dead body. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, uh, what's their name? Just can you read the graveyard gravestone? from like the 16th century. Uh, there's also a baby grave within like oh, 20 feet. No. That's like, fabulous. Died, That's like in character for the shock. Playing. Yeah. <laughs> I just well, I bring it up because there's someone in the graveyard right now, and I'm so afraid they can hear me. They're like, pay, <laughs> so they're paying respects, and <laughs> <laughs> this is real life. And all they can hear in the background is this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> let's have I a moment so of silence, bad. everybody. Yeah, everyone, let's have a moment of silence for that. Is it right? What is it? A man or a woman? Uh, he's. Le I think it was a gardener. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I identify as a gardener. <laughs> so, so it doesn't matter. They were just—they're just the gardener. <laughs> Incredible. Because <laughs> they're not mourning or anything. Uh, who gives a fuck that? We can say whatever we want. Get back to making rhino noises. Let's go, boys. It is now Hachiko's turn. <laughs> I can't see, I'm crying. Um, ha <laughs> oh, Hachiko is gonna give bardic inspiration to the shark. Nice. Uh, by... Ruff, ruff, ruff. That's what you hear, the shark, and you suddenly feel uh, inspired. Um, it's also Hack Hiko. Yeah, okay, and then... Um, <laughs> <laughs> got uh, it. Hachiko is gonna cast Fireball on General Bone. Oh, wow, Whoa. that's far. Yeah, it's enough distance that... Wait, can he? If he... Well, he's gonna move, because he's a dog. Yeah, he can move and then throw it in some radius. You so. stretched him. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, all of his pieces are separate, so... Um... <laughs> so, right. he's, he's a law bard, right? So he can get fireball. Um, and then it's... It, oh, fireball is 150 feet range anyway, so we can reach General oh, Bone. Oh, yeah, he's definitely... He's gonna plant it where it's going to hit General Bone, but not you, Anthony. So he... Thank you. So picture this. Hachiko barks, and out of his mouth, a fucking fireball spews <laughs> out and explodes <laughs> next to General Bone. This has to be something... This has to exist in anime. Yeah, right? There has to be a spellcasting dog that, that casts I feel like, like a this fireball is in a, when it barks. I feel like this was in a Final Fantasy game at one point where you use a dog for shit. If Final Fantasy VIII, you have a dog. Final Fantasy VII has a dog. Yeah, uh, no, that's a cat. So Wait, no, that's oh, a dog. Is it? No, no, the thir Red 13 is a dog. Red 13, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a dog? Yeah. I didn't play it, I don't know. Okay, General, <laughs> General Bone's gonna do his dexterity saving throw, or he's gonna take that damage. Uh, he fails, Fail! so he takes 24 damage. Nice. Um, and nice. the shark is back to you. What happened with my preaching? Um, so, <laughs> as you are talking, a fireball goes off, a werebear appears, <laughs> um, there's uh, a, a guy turns into a rhinoceros and body slams someone, some racial like hatred paralyzed. was sort of sp spewed. And, I, that, didn't, that didn't happen. Um, and you're still preaching. But your, your persuading was so good that one of the guys, one of them's paralyzed, but the other guy that's um, holding nerve is actually like, he takes off his helmet and goes, you know, this isn't worth it. Uh, <laughs> he let go of nerve and he just sort of walks off. That's fair. It's, yeah. I'm shooting the attack. He's disengaging. No, no, he 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 walks away. He he. Okay. I could take an opportunity attack on him. He instead, is... I, I okay. So go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. He said. I instead. walk up behind him. I put my arm around him. We leave combat and we go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we whenever up. whenever it's the shark's turn, we will cut to that scene happening. <laughs> um, I was about to I was about to be like really celebrating like oh wow shark entirely eliminated someone from the fight non lethally not not even like aggressively that was crazy and then he just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> we will, every time it's the shark's turn, we will cut to what they're doing in the bar. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's now Nerve's turn. He doesn't know what happened to the guy next to him, but it's freed up an arm, so now he can make two attacks, and he's and he's just gonna continuously. Um, actually, this is what Nerve's gonna do. He's already impl applied his Nerve poison, so 
he's going to pull out a spectral sword. Um, it's like okay. a green energy blade. And mm, that's cool. Shit. Yeah. You guys have seen this before. Katia had had them. Um, yeah, okay. Neat. So he's going to pull out a green energy blade out of two, and he's going to make two slashes with this. Green Am energy. I lagging or are they? Are they? That's the question right now. Um, I think I think I'm good. I'm good. Right. Yeah, we're all good. I think it was you. I guess it's, it's on my end because everyone sounds like a robot then. Uh, um, Tekken looks spectacular today. Rustage exists. Schwabity's gone. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's the, get... that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Oh, so you said <laughs> shut up, but you also said the nicest thing Rustage has ever heard. Which is that I, I exist. If I insist you exist, all I know in life is someone exists, therefore is. So I am insinuating you are the zero point of the I, universe. I am exist, the it. I am I'm the it factor. Uh, so uh, just for context, Nerve didn't attack four times. He's just attacking with advantage. Uh, and I just rolled it. So one of those attacks hit for eight damage. Uh, and Yogg is now a werebear. Oh, so boy. Hi Briggs. Briggs. Hi Briggs. The 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 giant were bear monster comes down with a huge claw. Um, how many times does it attack? Six. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two claw attacks. One. Pretty sure, I remember him. Six. With advantage. Two with advantage. And they come through. One of them hits, slashing into the blood force member for twelve. Um. It is now General Bone's turn. Anthony, General Bone turns to you. You are not Councilman Loeb. I can't believe I fell victim to such a cheap parlor trick. We can still well, hear and see play, you, Norman. You're about to play victim to this shatter cannon. It's the Titanian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring it. Um, so, General. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm back. we're good. Uh, General Bone. He has four arms. Two of them grasp round the handle of a weapon and creates a blood red energy blade. Whoa. Um, he's a Sith. Oh, he's a I've Sith seen Lord. Sa I've seen Star Wars <laughs> episode 14. I get this. I haven't seen Star Wars. Oh, no, Here's a know. fun fact. Um, I have not seen, the only Star Wars movie I've seen is Solo and Rogue One. Mm. Yeah, Anthony has seen, uh, like, episode 14, and that's the only one he's seen in the entire Star Wars Expanded Universe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Daniel Green also just lagged out. Oh, that's crazy. This got dying for everyone? I'm good. Yeah, everyone was just frozen. And, like, I looked fine. I can move and talk. Everything was fine. Everyone wow. was just frozen on my screen. Um, does a 15 hit you, oh, Anthony? Uh, oh, I don't think it does, actually. Does it not? I, I, I have armor and shit. I have 19 AC. Dude. Oh my god, oh, he rolled wow, a 15 yeah, twice. It's okay. He has four arms. Um, then, with his other two arms, he brings okay. out this spectral bone chain. Um, uh -huh. And he's going to try okay. and wrap it around you, if this hits. Oh, that's it critically cool. hits. Crit. So you take um, 29, 29 damage. damage. That's a okay. really high roll. Uh um, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm and not dead. I was at full health. The the spectral okay. bone chain wraps around you, and if you're hit with this attack, you are now grappled. You have to oh, use. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is like uh, in Iron Man Two when he was fighting like the Whiplash guy, and like the yeah, like, with the whip and like it's like electrical and shit. I'm just. I was, th I was thinking of um, uh, Ghost Rider. I feel like he's wrapped you in his chain, and now he's about to fucking suck your soul out. With with Nick mm -hmm. Cage. Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. that. Yeah. I'm just imagining General Bone as Nick Cage now. <laughs> All right, that, no, 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 yeah. it's like yeah, that, it's fair enough. I'm Nicholas Cage. I'm General Bone. <laughs> I've never heard Tekken do an impression before. This oh, is, yeah, this is new territory. Oh, yeah, I could do, I could do like a decent Nicholas Cage. How you doing? <laughs> I can't actually remember what Nicholas Cage sounds like now. It doesn't sound exactly right, but it's close enough, I guess. <laughs> He has the matter. No, this, is the most the this, is the, this is the most voice act that he's done in three D and D And it's an impression of Nick Cage. <laughs> okay, uh, Norman, you're up. It's your turn. Well, that whole pacifist shit didn't work, so fuck Wait, it, we what did one of them. <laughs> yeah. It actually worked on the power. It, it worked on Yogg only. No, it, 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 it worked on two blood. Oh, you you meant the sleep. My sleep. Yes. Daniel but Green's pacifist speech did work on both blood force members. Just one of them is currently paralyzed and couldn't respond. Um, 
So he... he <laughs> we don't know that, though. You we don't know that. Oh. For the so audience. From, from Norman's perspective, he just sees Daniel... Green, he just sees the shark and one of them leave. So nothing's really... like It's just like... Really in, like, in, like in like battle situation, Norman's like... Nothing really happened I, to our advantage. I want to. Yeah. I want to say that like we do. Like there's a cut in for that the audience is. where you you hear the inside thoughts of the paralyzed blood force member, and he's like, "I don't want to be here anymore." <laughs> and in that moment, in that moment, Norman, Norman, <laughs> Norman does what? I'm gonna attack the paralyzed person. But you have advantage. Okay. Um. That's a crazy sentence. You I'm can't say I'm gonna attack the paralyzed person. Norman's not a good person anymore. Oh uh, yeah, he's given that. Oh, what? What? Why did I choose paralyzed these spells? I worst. I chose the worst spells. Oh no. Yeah. Fuck. You have scorching ray, right? No, I have wall of fire. But <laughs> I don't want to use this in this scenario. I can use confusion, but he's already paralyzed. Yeah, all of your stuff yeah. is like big AOE attacks. You don't have very. I good have like fireball. Ch chromatic orb. Chromatic orb, right? You have chromatic orb. Yeah, just yeah, I will use up cast chromatic, chromatic morb. Yeah, I'll use chromatic orb. Yeah, chromatic morb, and you have advantage. Can I, can I back up morb. a couple of feet as well? Uh, yeah, you can. Like, back yeah, up. you're yeah, not yeah. near anymore. Yeah, yeah, right? you can do that. I'm gonna back up like over here near Little Feather. Just but he distance. also doesn't an auto crit if he's paralyzed. Uh, I'll double check. Um, any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attack auto hits. crit. Only if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Oh, it's, yeah. So it's only for melee attacks. Mm. Yeah, I'm that I'm backing so. up because I don't I'm not I don't like being up close and personal. And then I'm gonna hit him with a with a chromatic orb. You have chromatic an orb. You have advantage. Come on, something cool. It'd be crazy if you still miss. If the attack <laughs> hits, the creature takes three d eight damage, but you have to do a something. All right, just. I don't know what it says. You roll to hit. You roll to hit. Roll, roll. Chromatic orbs. Yeah, that's roll. It's a roll to hit. Oh, so. There we yep. go. You have advantage. Do you want to just roll just in case you have a you crit? Sure, I'll roll again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay, so you hit the chromatic orb. You say it's three d eight. Are you just casting it at that level? You can upcast it to add more d eights to it. I will upcast it. Fuck it. <laughs> To what level are you casting? Because Norman on? literally said, fuck it, we ball. So I'll do it at... <laughs> fuck it, we orb. <laughs> fuck it, we orb. I'll do it at the... I'll just do it at the second level. So I, I think it just adds one. Yeah, so it's 4d8, right? 4d8. 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 Go ahead, king. Yeah, that's going to kill him. Ah! Uh, it's <laughs> what, what, what flavor of orb is this? Like, because you get to choose um, its elemental flavoring. Hmm... Let me think here. We'll do we'll do lightning. I'm inspired by what was seeing like some, some actually a yeah, thunder wave or thunder, thunder wave is is not like even sound. lightning. It's sound. Yeah. Sound. I'll yeah. do lightning though. Okay. So you create He's this elect. <laughs> <laughs> Really insults. focused on that paralyzed thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, no Norman, it's, it's we like get a, it. He's paralyzed. It's like one of those like defibrillators. So what happens yeah. is you send the lightning orb at him. It like sparks his body and unparalyzes him uh, for a and second, then and then he dies. Uh, he he disintegrates into ash before you. Um, so it is now the Norman, blood. No what? Norman saw that he had a debuff and took advantage. <laughs> I, it is now the Blood Force's turn, and the only Blood Force still alive and around are the two that are near Cody. Um, yeah. There's one on the ground who's going to try and desperately attack Cody with disadvantage. Um, advantage toggle. Okay, with disadvantage, he he swings his great sword around and misses Cody. The, it's so easy to hit a Rhino, by the way. I have 11 AC. Well, he, he, he whiffs it. He seven. whiffs, though. He totally whiffs it. Um, the other one comes over. This one doesn't have disadvantage, and he brings down his greatsword. Uh, That's this the sound I've decided Rhino makes. <laughs> Great. This one hits for 12. They actually do have two attacks. Ow. Okay. Um, uh, and that one also hits because your armor class is terrible. So oh my god, yeah. Rhinos should have decent armor class. They're like armored and shit. They're, they're not. They should, actually. <laughs> no, like their their hide is is pretty. Thick their hide is strong. very thick. It, it yeah, serves as armor against like you know the, the elements. The beasts that they face Arrows in and like rocks and stuff. Will blow. Oh, yeah. You take 19 damage total, yeah. King. I took it. I took it. As the as the great sword slices into your rhinoceros body. Yeah. Um, Boneslaw is going to run over and assist you, but he can't quite get there in turn, so he's just going to run over. 
Anthony, it's your turn again. Okay. Uh, so I have to make the check to get out of this, like before, or like you're, at the you're end of only my turn. you're only grappled, which means you can still make actions. Okay, um, I am going to cast enlarge, reduce, and I'm going to be enlarged, please. <laughs> wow, that is that is incredibly smart. I like that a lot. Time for a my I have a grow fray. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, so enlarge uh, my size doubles, and then yeah. so I'm a large creature now. Honestly, yeah. that is so smart because because of your size doubling, the shackles just like um, and they're too small for you. Well, yeah. hold up. If you sorry no, for our blind right. viewers, Daniel Green is now a member of Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> He's just put on nice. a, a, a an orc mask. Uh, okay, it would have been so much cooler if you just didn't mention it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just accepted it, but that's, that's been shat all over now. I'm just I'm a big fan of 90s rock groups. That's yeah, I mean, true. Hey. Good. Actually, no. Okay, Anthony. Anthony. Yes. You I'm still you, grapple. You yeah. current, no, you currently have this like spectral chain around you. If you grow, it's just going to be tighter around you. Uh oh. Uh, you can't not I be break it? I can't. I can't break it with physical force. Well, then you would have to use your action to do the the check to break it with physical force. Uh, but it would give you advantage on escaping when you do that. Um, but that is still if an I, action. Okay, wait. Uh, other if you, direction. If you reduced, you would. You All right, be free. I'll be tiny, Anthony. Then. All right, just like that movie, Ant Man and the Wasp versus the Mosquito. I'll it's, do it. I'll okay. reduce. So you reduce <laughs> down in size, and then the shackles <laughs> just sort of collapse around you. I'm small now. Small, Anthony. <laughs> so you. Are I'm tiny, Anthony, and I punch him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so yeah you're you're, you're you wow um you you're okay that well that's your action do you do anything with your bonus yeah. action or do you uh, move okay i okay so there's a question of, i want to bring up about that when that fireball went off it's right next to a pond so is there some steam in the air right now oh that's a very I was gonna point. hide. I was gonna hide in the steam because the fireball went off right next to it. Yeah, there probably yeah. is some steam coming off of the. Uh, All right, tiny Anthony, run into the steam cloud. <laughs> All right, you you will still provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, sure. Um, he says, <laughs> it just just like kills him. Um, but yeah, you can you Latin tiny Anthony. You at least have partial cover amongst the steam. Um, is, um does that affect anything with reducing? It doesn't hit me. It doesn't yeah, matter. it doesn't even hit you. So, ha -ha! You, you 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 shrink down out of his shackles and run into the steam. And General Bone looks around like, what what is going? He's desperately swinging his his lightsaber. And I'm just in the mist, being like, oh, it's happening for you, Bone. It's coming for you. <laughs> Cody, it's your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to ah, see the. Rhinos really work best when they can dash around, so I, I am in a little bit of a pickle with these two guys around me, but that's fine. I'm just going to keep tanking hits for now, I think. I'm going right. to attack the guy on the floor. Yep, yeah, you have I advantage. Get, uh, advantage. Fuck him up, King. I could. Here's what I could do: is I could run away and then, like, I could circle back <laughs> and just continuously and knock him over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did the did the guy who was prone did he get up? No, he's he's trampled he's by still you. Prone. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I could just knock the other guy prone if I did a loop, but that would provoke opportunity attacks. Uh, but it would be funny. It would yeah. be funny. You would. <laughs> you gotta do what's but funny, I wouldn't, man. I wouldn't have advantage against the non-prone guy. So yeah, it's just likely I'll miss. Keep fucking. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna attack the guy who's prone. Yeah. Keep stomping on him. You hit him. Twenty-six. Yeah. All right. And um, then... Roll two d eight plus five. Nice. So I'm gonna do fourteen damage. Oh wow, he's so weak. Uh, I think Little Feather. So pathetic. <laughs> little Feather. <laughs> you see, there's tears in his eyes. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> oh, you freak. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my. Alright. Um. <laughs> Little Feather does have disadvantage on these, but she is going to fire two short bows on the person that you are on top of, and one of them hits. Let's go. And that finishes him off. So, Let's go! as you see, as you just continue stomping this person in the ground, uh, an arrow flies out from the from your side and pierces him in his in his um, in his heart, in the gaps between his armor, and he blood dripping down 
his mouth ironically, and he collapses to the ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a dead a noise of approval. I'm just searching what noise a rhino makes. <laughs> oh, yeah. that is un <laughs> that is unimitable. Holy shit! Try it. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's oh, pretty oh, good. That's low enough. Good. Wait, I can, I can, I'll Google rhino noise. It's like a deep, reverby rumble. I'm gonna get it up. That's a horse. I just made a horse sound. <laughs> okay. Rhino sounds. Well, I'm listening man. to rhino sounds. Horses are like rhinos. Yeah, I can't do that. No, they they go. The, okay, the rhinos I just listened to go. What? I. They make like they make like these big, deep, rumbly. I just I, sounds. listen. I don't know. I just heard what? a rhino go. <laughs> I don't know what I clicked, I, I clicked, but it's like a VTuber rhino that just said, I'm hungry. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> 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 we, 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 we are, yeah, we got, we got the whole plethora of rhinos. I genuinely was looking for normal rhino sounds. Why did I click this? So I did do rhino facts on my channel for a while. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> is there is there a, is there a One Piece character that Tekken, turns into a rhino? Ah, uh, yeah, me no rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Tekken's like, I did, I covered this obscure thing on my channel. It's like, <laughs> was there a One Piece character that did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's why. Yeah, me no rhinoceros. He's one of the demon guards. Yeah. And yeah. All right. In that yeah. case, I'm gonna turn to a Little Feather after she like kills this guy in flame and go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Hachiko turn. Hachiko is gonna continue charging towards General Bone. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> and oh gosh, what's he gonna do now? What could he be doing? What if, <laughs> damn, what's that dog doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna piss, and it's gonna just set the whole thing on fire. <laughs> um, I think he's gonna use Faithful Hound. He uh, summons another dog? Yeah, he has Faithful Hound. He can summon another dog. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. You conjure a phantom. I love how you can just dog. generate a friend. He yeah. just makes a friend. Okay. No, they hate each other. Oh. <laughs> the hound's attack bone is equal to your spellcast ability modifier, and on hit it deals 48 damage. So he he generates another. 48. Wow. Yeah, I know. They just start barking and howling at each other. Like, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing here? This is my so area. So he barks, and this spectral hound comes out of his mouth, and then rushes forwards towards General Bone, and then makes its attack. I think. All right. There we go. Uh. Yeah. The. Yeah. It's within 30 feet. Do 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 do. Uh. Uh, at the start of each of your turn, the hound attempts to bite one creature. I don't think he can he can bite yet, but Good dog. he will. Uh, the shark. So the shark. You have started walking away with the blood guard, and he he has his helmet off at the moment. Um, this is one of the forearm sulking ones. Um, he's got quite rich blue skin. Um, he's got bright, piercing blue eyes, um, and he and he he looks over to you. He says, uh, "So what is your name, my friend?" It doesn't... You know, I'm gonna tell you something I haven't even told my friends. And that's my real name. <laughs> There's no way! There's, There's no, no way, way this is what he says that his name. you say your real name to this random guard. <laughs> <laughs> this shark's real name, and my real name, is Wilhelm Javis Jr. Wow! And I just want to know. Is is that fact? How did? Is his name yeah, Wilhelm? I, yeah, Wilhelm. The true reality of his mind. Yes. Uh, I just want to know. Uh, how did we end up here? You and me both, walking around people I was, with I was, violence all over them. I was born here, and it was a good-paying job, but. Um, is it what know, you wanted to do? No, I. Uh, I wanted to be a lawyer, but. They wouldn't. I did not pass the exams. Um, Why didn't you try again, man? I, I didn't know they let you try more than once. They do. All you gotta do is, you know, just save up a little money. Maybe go work at a local shop you enjoy and just save up, study in your spare time. You can do it next year. Like, would you rather be being paid well for a job you hate? Or do you want to buckle down, maybe sleep on a futon in the corner for a couple of years, and then be doing what you love for a living down the road? You know what I'm saying? This is such a good point. I've been reading, I've been reading some of the books, and I heard of this great lawyer that resides in in the capital. But I'd love to meet him one day. But I, n um, you know, we're not allowed to leave. And um, who's stopping you? Me, I guess. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the biggest enemy? I am part of the group that's stopping me. <laughs> You you are the biggest thing stopping you. What you got to do, and this is from someone who has wandered this world for the better part of however long I've been here now, and you just got to just fight for what you really think is going to make you happy. Like, you know, you're not going to end up sleeping well at night uh, and having the family that supports and loves you for who you truly are doing a job that you hate eight hours of the day. You're going to come home. You're going to take that on them because you're... I don't want to say you're human, but you're, you know, you're, you're a sentient I, I, being who has stress. Sulking. Yes. Yeah, you're sulking. I'm sulking right now <laughs> with you. <laughs> and I think the best thing for us both is to start practicing and preaching what our heart really wants. And I don't mean that in some kind of religious way. I don't mean that in nah. some kind of like prophecy you know, way. I, I just mean like I've talked to, I've talked about my dreams with my fellow Blood Force members and they've all laughed at me. You're the first man to take me seriously, you know? Dude, um, fuck those dudes. They're not even your friends, are they? When was the last time one of them helped you, like, just in your day-to-day -day life going out You know, out you're right. Heart? You're right, Wilhelm. Yeah. You're right. Well, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's so nice can, to meet can I you. Pay for, can I pay for a drink for you? We just have a good afternoon. Let's, when was yeah, the last time you just had a good afternoon? You want to go to Dick's? I will, will gladly bring you some Dick's. Let's, let's, let's go to Dick's. Let's go to Dick's. All right. So okay. Him so, and I go to Dick's. So we're right. gonna cut away. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's done for you guys. Unreal. So I guess I guess when we learned in a previous episode the the shark's name is Brenner, that was just a lie. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, no. He, that's his middle name. We we because yeah. it, it's oh it's Brenner, Brenner yeah. Wilhelm Javis Jr. Wilhelm <laughs> Brenner Javis Jr. Will Jesus, 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 my Jesus fault. Jr. My fault. My fault. Okay. Yeah. My real life middle name is Brenner, but that's you know, yeah. The whole yeah, that, I remember. Remember that. Yeah, that was fun. Or we remember the saga that was involved. Yeah. In that. Wait. So, so his first. Um, wait. What's his first name? Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Ah, it's on the wiki Wilhelm already. Man, you guys are good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Like a couple weeks ago, my girlfriend was like, "Did you ever find out that guy's middle name?" <laughs> <laughs> because she I was said, going through potential middle names at one point. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Oh uh, shit, where are we? Oh yeah, nerve. Um the two guys I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chat. She didn't remember Daniel's name. She doesn't watch Isekai D D. Yeah. <laughs> um That's okay. I don't know. So one name. of them one of them walked off, the other one died, so Nerve is now standing there. There's a giant were bear next to him, but he's gonna run away from that. Um, yeah, he's he's gonna make his <laughs> way to help and assist Anthony, so he's gonna sure. dash. Uh, 60 dash. He's gonna dash 60 feet. He dash. leaps over the fence. Uh, Thanks, Nerve. Um, and he's gonna pull out a crossbow. You didn't expect oh, that, okay. did you? He's had a crossbow. I mean, I, I mean it was kind of, he's an assassin guy. It yeah, was kind of in the sense. realm of possibility. Now, if he pulled out, like, I don't know, a fucking sausage and tried to hit somebody with that, that would be... That weird. would be a surprise. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, pulled out, like, and it a, hits. a long baguette. Oh, my God. <laughs> a long baguette. The, the crossbow hits for 40 damage. Oh, nice. Uh, it's now Werebear's turn. Okay, the c close closest to him is going to be like it's bone it's bone slaw. slaw. Yeah. So Werebear rampages towards bone oh, slaw. No. So I knew this would happen. It's it's Werebear versus bone slaw. Uh, bone slaw goes, <laughs> ah, big bear, I will beat you in arm wrestle. The Werebear goes, it's um, <laughs> good. Okay, and then he's gonna do his two claws. Just, does Bone Slot try to just grab one and just like? Argh! Well, he grabs the first one, and then the oh. second claw comes down unaware because Bone Slot is not aware of the fact that once you're in an arm wrestle, you can't start a second arm wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and it does uh, 14 plus seven. That's a decent chunk 21 of damage. Damage. 21 yeah. damage. Decent chunk of damage Jeez. scratches across Bone Slaw's body and blood starts dripping down. But are they in the middle of a strength contest now with the other hand? <laughs> <laughs> they will be yeah. on Bone Slaw's turn. They will be All on right. Bone Slaw's turn. General Bone is going to uh, walk up towards okay. Anthony. I'm in the mist. Is there like a. You well, know. so yes, you're gonna. And I'm gonna the dog gets an opportunity attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dog gets an opportunity attack? Is that. Is that true? I don't know. I'm in the mist. The dog was attacking him, and he just got shot with a crossbow bolt by nerves. I don't know why I'm the major concern right now. You're, I mean, you're the one who's directly betrayed him. You, you're in the mist, yeah. so you're going to have... You like I'm, I'm going to rule that you have partial cover, so you have a plus two to your AC. 
Okay. Um, which is a lot of AC, to be fair. No, and the, I also have a defensive this, shield, which gives me plus one to okay. that, so... The yeah. Spectral Hound is invisible to all Ooh. creatures except for Hachiko. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, That's what it says. crazy. It says the, the Hound is so invisible... So I don't even know what happened. I just... He just gets, like, attacked by some weird ghost or something. Okay. Yeah, he has a it bit of... It probably doesn't yeah. have reactions. No, it probably, probably doesn't. It, it, uh, okay, that's fair. Say it doesn't. That's and it, General Bone's got a walk round, and he's gonna just fucking come at you with his spectral bone sword. Son uh, of a dick! Oh my god, he critically yeah, that hit. Safe. That he, even with it. Oh my days. That's 24 damage. Um, and he has another one of those. And that, that all, doesn't hit. That doesn't hit because you got the plus two AC. So and yeah, yeah. yeah. So and I'm gonna use my hit. repulsion shield for that one too, which uh, will knock him back. Yeah. Uh, oh, I nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Knock him up to 15 feet away. Yep. Okay. Incredible. Well, that's so, after being hit. That's so after that being would, hit. So you, yeah. you would, you would do that after the first attack. after the first attack. So that would be before the second attack. Oh, nice. So, okay, I could just do that then. Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah, get, yeah. I still get the damage, but yeah. Yeah. That I'm just saying that sort of gives him the opportunity to get back to you. <laughs> um, well, then fuck it. No, I'm waiting till after the second one. No, but no, because there's only when an attack hits. It did. The, no, the <laughs> second attack didn't hit. But it happens with it so fast. It's no, no, no. You can just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my it just oh whoosh boom shield. <laughs> okay, now I get it. It's fine. Okay, so I knock him 15 feet away. And he just comes back. I guess. If yeah, because he he only used about 10 feet of movement to come after you. That, that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, the second sword. Oh no! no! F 15 feet knocked away in the pond! <laughs> it, I mean, you can't, he's not, his back isn't the pond! You would have yeah, to. Yeah, but like... I can swing it like this! <laughs> <laughs> I don't All think right, you let's can! Just go, just go, just go. <laughs> I don't think you can. Um, maybe if you reposition yourself later, you'll be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. But the second sword misses anyway. So the first sword comes down with critical force, dealing 24 damage if you've taken that off. Oh, um, I have, yeah. Yeah, that slashes through you, blood splattering. The second one just slashes into the mist, missing you. Norman, you're up. Oh, wait, no, he's got his shackle. Sorry, he, he has his spectral bone chain. He's going to try and spectral bone chain you. And that misses. misses. Okay, Norman, yeah. you're up. I'm being honest, I have no clue what's fucking going on anymore. Okay, Norman. I'm fighting this guy by myself over here. Norman, this is what's can, happening. Can I... I don't see any blood force in front of me anymore, right? There, there are two there's, behind there's one you. one blood force member... Uh, and he's 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 fighting oh, yeah. me. Yeah, there's a dead corpse, and there's one that's fighting Cody behind you. Bone Slaw and the Werebear are currently fighting, and in the distance you see Anthony, Hachiko, and Nerve fighting General Bone. I wish I could do more than one thing at once here, but I think I'm just gonna fly over to help Anthony. You have a but most. I, I do want to state, Norman, that most of your spells have enough range that you can reach General Bone from oh, where you yes, are. Oh yes, that's right. You are a ranged spell Dude. caster. You you have can, like can I can I meta game a little bit here? Yeah, what are you gonna do? So let me just double check the range of fireball. I don't I don't know if this is particularly meta gaming, like I just want to throw it far enough past General Bone where it oh, hits no, that, Bone but not Anthony. Yeah, that's, that's not meta. Gaming. That's a standard thing. You yeah, can throw yeah. it at the tree. Wait, Rustic just did that with Hachiko. Yeah, I just did that with Hachiko. <laughs> that's not meta. Like Norman in universe could throw a fireball far enough to hit yeah. general bone if it's, in, not... if it's in Baldur's gate 3 it's yeah. not metagate i mean and that's the way i hit in Baldur's gate 3 yeah yeah all right it looks no, like i can do that's it that's just boys. not true cuz in Baldur's gate 3 it's like you're metagaming constantly cuz it's a video game you i know <laughs> all right i'm going to move over here or like whatever like within my whatever range i'm allowed to move yeah you you, you run up closer I, are you going to fling a, a fireball closer. I'm gonna fling a fireball towards General Bone and be like, I think Anthony needs some, needs some help over there. He's doing a 1v1. I'm trying. Gotta, gotta support my boy. And I, I shoot a fireball. Okay. Go ahead as 8d6. 8d6. Unless you upcast it, and then it's 9d6. Fuck it, 9d6. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's, that's Norman's uh, tagline for the episode. Does, does Norman what what like spell slots does Norman have? He's got level four spell slots. I do have okay. some. I have Wall of Fire and Confusion as level four, but I'm not going to use them in this fight. So yeah, I yeah, might yeah, as yeah. well upcast. Yeah, yeah. I always forget about that. Go ahead, King. <laughs> that okay? Twenty-seven damage. 
so he's got to do a deck save. I, um, I love from their perspective, out of nowhere, Anthony and Boneslaw are like face to face, and his fire rains down on one of them. <laughs> yeah. He critically fails! Oh, fuck it! Fuck! So he takes yeah, the 27 you, damage. As the fire. And he lands in the pond. No! <laughs> <laughs> it does. They, but it does say guys it if we could just get him in the pond we win skeletons can't fucking swim okay he's not a skeleton he just he doesn't have a nose <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he looks very skeleton like but he's not an actual skeleton he's just like a very pale guy with no nose pale people cannot swim we'll be fine damn he right he's spitting there's um the tree is now on fire though i do want to state uh, yeah, tree, trees on fire. Was the Bones dog okay? Took a decent amount of damage and I don't in think pain. the dog can be hit. He's like a by fire. He's just okay. like a, he. He seems to be an invisible phantom image. Like wait, is he just like Voldemort? Then he's just he no kind, nose. I can't. I've not. Okay. I've not seen the Harry Potter films either. Yeah, um, you're weird. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I know, right? I've had this discussion with him like three okay, Have you at least times. seen Lord, Lord of the Rings? I've not seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh my god. I, I will. One. I will. I will see Lord of the Rings. Have, have you watched Tom Ska? He's British. I thought, yeah, I watched I Tom just Ska. Wanted, I met Tom wait, Ska. Hold there up, you go. Is, okay. Uh, oh, 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 you important. have? Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah. This is, okay. this is important. Harry Potter uh, one, history. <laughs> one, Rustage, uh, just general making fun of you for not having seen Lord of the Rings. As a kid, I didn't movie. watch movies. Oh, wait, let me. I'm, I'm talking. Go ahead, I'm King. currently evocating from my mouth. Speak your shit. I'm going to lay down on the floor, but I want you to know I have my headphones on and That's I'm going to bring the mic with me, so it's going to be okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I trust you, Daniel Green. He needs to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say, Russ, there's just no excuse. I'm a fucking himbo. I didn't grow up watching Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, and I've been watching them recently. I'm on The Hobbit right now. Briggs, it's fucking fantastic. Briggs for all. It's a know, pretty good Briggs, one. I like smog. I, I, too. I'm gonna say this with no offense. You have a lot more free time than I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I I just I don't have the time to watch log movies at the moment. You can definitely watch a movie before bed, bro. That's bullshit. I just... Uh, yeah. I, I, Rustage has to watch The Lord I, of the Rings with me. I, I have... The, I, the thing is, there's so much other stuff that I want to watch, and there's also things that I need to watch for work as well now. Rustage, what are you doing immediately after this is over? I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege with uh, Mark Too Spooky Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> He's so busy, guys. He's so busy. <laughs> I look, okay, I just didn't watch movies growing up. I'll watch them eventually. That's fair. It's I, fine. It's fine. I I played video games and I read manga. Mm. I would have been a different person if I watched movies growing up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have liked that person. I would. <laughs> yeah, you guys wouldn't, wouldn't be watching Isekai D D right now if I didn't if yeah. I watched Harry Potter growing up. You'd be watching. You'd be watching Harry Potter, Potter Marvel D. crossover D and D. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Norman. The tree is on fire. It's. The last. <laughs> the, the last. I don't know why I find that so funny. It's the last the blood. The trees on fire. The last blood force member. It comes over to uh, Cody because you actually. What's the noise I make? He's right next to you. <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's right up on me because he attacked me last round. So he's attacking twice, and they both hit. Right, he's got you on eleven AC. Hit. So fifteen. I think that on Rhino's you. It doesn't. I've got one left. I got one hit point left in Rhino mode. Oh my god. Okay. I was on 26. All right. You're severely wounded, Rhino. He's slashing. He's screaming. Bone Slaw is going. He's screaming. Bone Slaw and the Werebear. I'm going to do a strength contest between Bone Slaw and the Werebear right now. Um, I want Bone Slaw just to put this fucking bear on the ground, dude. Please. That would be so funny. So, Bone Slaw rolled. He only got a 13? 13? That means he, he has a plus 10 to that check. That's crazy. Oh no. Don't worry, the Werebear, the Werebear doesn't actually have as much strength as I thought he would. Let's give it a go. 23. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that strong guys, 23. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Boneslaw, this is the first time he's lost an arm wrestle. The, yeah. the Werebear takes Boneslaw and pummels him into the ground and Boneslaw smiles and he goes yes finally there is I it's my mistake was arm wrestling man I should have been arm wrestling beast um that's his turn though Anthony it's I your turn he takes this so well this is right. what he's been looking it's for it's what he's it's what challenge he wanted a, a challenge 
Um, okay, uh, so I'm no longer, because I got out of it using the enlarge reduce. Can I just end concentration and go back to normal? Yeah, yeah, you could just do that whenever. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do that. All right, and then I'm going to... I might get an opportunity attack, or he might get an opportunity attack on me, but I want to angle myself this way. You want to so then angle I behind can, him, yeah. Yeah, angle behind him, so is he going to you, you would, No, no, you, because you're, you're walking around him. You can do that. You're not disengaging okay, from around combat. Him. I walk around him, uh, and then, you know, I bust out uh, another Thunder Wave, but I'm going to upcast it to two, because fuck it, I'll take a page out of Norman's book. <laughs> you're trying to burst him into the water. Yeah, I'm trying to get this damn skeleton Voldemort-looking fucker into the water, yeah. I just, I don't know what you're trying to achieve with this. It's just like a pond. Because it will work! Trust me on this! <laughs> okay. All right? All right. Okay, Go ahead. you thunder wave. Uh, he's got to do a con save, or he's going to be pushed 15 feet into the pond. It's like a, it's a nice pond with like dice decorations on it because it's like it's the pond of a, someone who lives here. Yeah, there's like a little like a like a fake duck. There's a fake can... duck on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, he's going to do con save. Damn it! Yeah, All he right. succeeds. Well, he's, he takes he's half still the damage. The, so that's three d8 for three this. Three d8, half it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, he takes 10 damage. Yep, yeah. Uh, so you try a uh, big boom noise. Uh, this time it, he actually feels it, but he stands his ground. Mm. I see. You're trying to push me into that. I pond. just charge him and just. <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay, Cody. <laughs> Let's add that he has a I bonus have action. one rhino hit point left, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chance to. Run as a rhino. I'm going to start running away from this blood force member. Yeah. So he's going to get an opportunity to attack. Okay, me. and that's how you're, you're just you're expecting him to un un rhino yeah. you. It, it, you. It's fine if he un rhinos me, but on okay. the off chance that I get the extra movement speed from being a rhino is what I was hoping. Okay, for, so mm, as as, as you run away as a rhino, he slashes into you, and you un rhino. Your face becoming <laughs> your perfect human face. Yeah. Your chiseled jawline. Your smile gleaming. Oh wow. Okay. Um, You're beautiful, Cody. You're yeah. a beautiful man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be running. I'm, I'm just, I'm so in two minds about what to do. But fuck it, I really want to support Anthony and them up there. Yeah. Um, hey man, you I'm gotta gonna, do I'm what gonna you gotta run do. Up it's here, fine. And I'm going to cast conjure animals, and I'm gonna conjure eight dogs. <laughs> so, so wait, so there's gonna be eight dogs, a spectral dog, and Hachiko. Octo yes. dog. Octo dog. Okay. I'm gonna conjure eight so, sled so, dogs. Is the is the <laughs> in case you want it? Um, fuck. So there's ten dogs. Deca dog. Gotcha. We got a deca dog hedron, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm gonna cast them sixty feet away from myself towards this guy, which is around about where Hachiko is. But these guys all have forty feet of movement, so they should on their turn be able to move to uh, Mr. Born. Um, so yes, I summon eight two, dogs three, four, five, with my six, conjure animals. Seven, eight. Where are they? They are all 60 feet away from me towards General Bourne. Like around here. So ar around about where Hachiko is. Okay, Hachiko's um, got a legion of dogs around him now. <laughs> yes, he, he is now commanding the army. <laughs> you know what? Um, I, I will also just briefly show this um, image terribly on stream of Hachiko and his army of dogs. <laughs> there no, he is. Yes, the thing is, each of these guys has pack tactics, which means they gain advantage oh, for attacking yeah. an enemy when there's yes. another ally within five feet. Yeah. And <laughs> also, sled so dogs good. specifically, when they bite a creature, if that creature fails a strength saving throw, they get knocked prone. When, so I just I just really want all the sled dogs to just pile So we pile can on. get him in the water then. So wait, okay. wait, do they attack on your turn or do they have their own initiative? Um, hold on, conjure animals. Roll initiative for the summoned creatures as a group, which has okay. its own turn. So all right, say, we'll add him to Dog the, number one, have, dog number two, uh, dog number three. Plus two dexterity, so. All right, what are their names? <laughs> we they have 19, they rolled a 19. Okay, so there's there are eight dogs and you have to name them all. Okay. Um, uh, okay. okay. I'm writing these down this time. Yeah, I'm just going to write them in the chat. There's going to be Rufus. Um, okay. Rufus. Um, All right. As, as another, you're, another Rufus, two Rufus. Rufus Bart. As, okay, oh. Little Feather's going to fly over and aim a bow at General Bone as you're doing this. Actually, no, what, she, what am I talking about? She's going to shoot at the person that attacks you. Muffy. So, 
You're Same listing way. off the names of the dogs. And so Lank. Oh, Alright, there's all eight dogs. Rufus Bark, Cruff, Gruff, Ruff, Muffy, Segway, and Lank. Segway. <laughs> so Rufus, Bart, Cruff, Gruff, Ruff, Muffy, and uh, Segway all appear next to Hachiko, and they all start barking to each other, uh, like a cacophony of um, dog noises. Um, Little yeah. Feather fires off a short bow at the Blood Force member, hits, does eight damage. Hachiko is going to continuously run up. When at the start of Hachiko's turn, uh, the invisible dog makes an attack. Um, <laughs> We Which don't know is, what the invisible dog's name is. Hachiko has to. Um, it, t t t yeah, nobody knows that the invisible dog exists, I guess. No, no, no the invisible <laughs> dog's name is Hakiko, which is the way it's put in the initiative order. Yeah, I just yeah, spelled, you it, spelled it. <laughs> uh, five plus three is eight, right? So, uh, 15, that doesn't hit General Bone, so the invisible dog doesn't. But Hachiko comes over, and Hachiko is going to use. Um, you know, that. He also has Thunder Wave, so Hachiko's gonna run over next to Anthony and also try and Thunder Wave. <laughs> uh, if he goes in the water and I didn't summon Eel Team 6, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Well, it's okay, dogs can swim. Yeah, dogs can swim. Yeah, let's get into the pond and then boom, you'll see. Hachiko's gonna upcast uh, Thunder Wave to third level, so it's 48. Um, Thunder and, Bork. And General Bone has to do that con save. Oh, watch, he's gonna fail this one. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Oh, no, no, he succeeds. Okay. So he yeah. just takes the half damage. Man, we cannot knock him in the water! <laughs> it does less damage than your one did. So he, uh, Hachiko barks and this thunderous noise roars out as Hachiko barks, but General Bone uh, stands strong. I am not going to be pushed into that pond. The shark, you. you're on the ground, as in, in real life. Are you still there? Oh, I'm here, baby. Okay, the shark, hey, man. The shark you have now entered Dick's. I know this is like a long travel, but this is just happening. So you've yeah, entered I, Dick's I, with your I, new friend, and you walk I up to the bar with him, and you said you were going to buy him a I, drink? I want to first commend your skills as a DM, because look at this group of people you're managing to wrangle. You, you got an idiot, you got a doofus, you got a moron, and you got Briggs. Okay, I want to be the moron! I thought I was for sure the second or the third, I love you. <laughs> I want to be the fucking moron, I'll tell you that much. All I, right. I, I don't know, to add to that statement, I did just spill drink all over myself because I thought there was a lot less than there was yeah, in the bottle. Yeah, you idiot! And I just went like that, and it just went all over my... Uh, so is that moron or doofus behavior, is the question. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that for the gods to decide. Well, are you DM able to get... stands for doofus moron. It does, it does. Um, are you able to get Brick. closer to your microphone a little bit? I'm Brick. here, Ray. Brick. Perfect. Briggs is smarter than Brick. Thank you, Josh. Okay. No. <laughs> Briggs, you're a genius. You you beat the shit out of me at Yu-Gi-Oh most of the time. That's so, not yeah, difficult. You're... Sorry, Briggs. I have to say that's not, <laughs> yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta realize, Tekking makes so many less mistakes than me, he just builds bad decks. No, I'm building I decks that I'm, are smaller now. I'm, I'm like under my 45. Deck, my, my decks are consistently better than yours, and if you win, it's because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know how to play you. you, you okay, Daniel Green, the shark. You've just entered dicks with your new sulking friend. Um, yeah. And you sit down at the bar. What drink are you going to order him? The bartender's you know, polishing off a glass. He says, welcome to Dix. What would you like? A big glass of ice water. Uh, and he, you had it to your your new friend and he goes, ah, are you not, you're not a drinker? Um, Wilhelm? Um, I, um, okay, no, the shark orders, um, a dark and stormy. Wait, so you a order an ice water, water for your friend, but a dark and stormy for yourself. <laughs> No, 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 both for both. both you gotta both. have a glass uh, of water for every drink you well, have. Thank you so much. And he takes a little bit of a sip. Um, my name is Julag, by the way. Mm hmm. Um. <laughs> I'm the shark. <laughs> AKA. Wilhelm. No, we did talk about this. So, what, what are your. No, the, what. Wilhelm. You've been. I, mm -hmm. I've been talking about my dreams, but what are your dreams? I. I want to inspire people. I want to make a change hey, in man. this world. And You've, I think my world is so fucked. Like, I, have you heard of World War One? That was a big deal. Was no, bad. I've not Fought heard of that. that. I've, you know, there's not a lot of information that gets into corpus. But, hey, man, you've already inspired me. So that's at least one person. And that's a lot more than most people. Hmm. I think, I think I'm going to become, you know, I don't want to go home anymore. I don't want to go back to that life. You know what I did in another world? What, what did you do? What do you mean? I just, I just, 
I, I lived in this other world. I just broke legs. I broke so many legs. I can tell you the difference between a healthy knee crunch and an unhealthy knee crunch. Yeah. Well, you know, you, we've, all, we've all done things that we regret. There, there have been people that I have hurt that I, I was just following orders, and I imagine you were just doing the same. Sometimes. You know, other times it just was like practice. Like you get in a bar fight intentionally, and then you're like, I'm going to break this guy's knees because that's what my boss is going to ask me to do on Monday. So I'm like, I'm going to get good at it. So what is, I don't regret it. That's not the right word. I savored it when it happened. In fact, I yeah. look forward to it. But, but you don't look forward to it anymore. I wish I was doing it actively right now, but I know it's wrong. I see. But sometimes, you know, it's like nature versus nurture. We were re raised to think that certain things are right when... And it's only through experience that we find out that they're wrong. And we take the necessary actions to change who we are. And I feel like... I, I feel like, Wilhelm, you, you were raised in an environment where what you were doing was right. And the bloodlust just sort of came naturally. But now that you understand that it's not the right thing to do, you are evolving as a person. And... Yeah. I mean... I see what you're saying. Nature provided the knees and nurture made me think I should break them. Exactly. Reality, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right? I'm saying that you are a good man at heart. I know that. Because most people you're would right. find out that, you know this infam what and they would just they wouldn't care but you care the fact that you are having this crisis proves that you are a, a good man at heart that's so good so what you're saying is everything i did in the past like i'm forgiven for I don't no, no, no 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 <laughs> i am saying that we must do our best to atone for our sins i'm going to become and a I'm lawyer atoned. and i i will regret. i will i will i will defend those who are in need and you know maybe i can help more than i can ha that i've harmed i think when I die, I would like to have helped more than I have harmed. And maybe you should say the same. That way we could become better people together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know what? And here's my symbol that I'm going to do this. And I'm going to hand him my Tommy gun and say, I don't need that anymore. You I don't know this, what this you, is, you, but thank you. you. You pull that little lever thing and anyone who tries to stop you from being a lawyer will no longer be a problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Because, like, I'm not going to do violence anymore, but you can do violence. I don't give Like, I'm not going to stop you. Hey. Do you want to hug? Yeah. All right. And you guys hug. Um, uh, and we, we snap back to combat. Uh, Nerv is running up with General Bone. It really is like, you know in Baldur's Gate when, like, a character is in combat, but another one isn't? Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to do whatever, yeah. Well, they're just locked in one turn of combat. That's what it's, it's like. like. time dialing <laughs> differently yeah. for them or something, you know? Uh, Nerf is going to continue running up and firing his crossbow, because that's all God. he can do. Um, oh, my God. That is a That hits. General Bone takes nine damage. Uh, right. the werebear, <laughs> I guess, is gonna fucking attack Bone Slaw. He's got this, I'm sure. You right? think so? Guys, He's we just... didn't fuck up by summoning the werebear, did we? No, we did, we didn't. Um, even Norman's gamer. This is the, lot, this is the second, in this the second crit that the werebear has gotten on Bone Slaw. Um, that's gonna knock him unconscious. Um, and... Damn. That means, Yikes, I mean, dude. yeah. So, fuck. <laughs> Jeez, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, the, the Bone Slaw loses the arm wrestle, then the werebear comes down and just gores Bone Slaw, blood dripping down. He's already died once in universe, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Right, dude. <laughs> General Bone's turn, Anthony. <laughs> yep. um, actually, no, would the dogs go first? They both have 19 initiative. What is the dexterity of a dog? I'm gonna rule it on this. Two. Uh, okay, no, so General Bone goes first. Um, General Bone, Anthony, he's f fucking pissed at you. Yup, sure he is. Um, he, you're, <laughs> you're getting in that water. You're, you're afraid of getting in the water because you know it'll kill you. I did. You know I, it, don't you? Kill him. I just, I don't think the water, like, I just don't want to get my armor wet. Oh, you're getting in that water. All right, okay, 21. Uh, if we're no longer with disadvantage, or not disadvantage, but with the extra you AC. You have the plus two uh, AC, so... 
I have the plus two to AC. Yeah, because you're still in the mists. I'm still in the mist. Okay, and I also have my repulsion shield, so Did that you gives use... me a plus three. I have charges. I have uh, uh, four charges, and I use one, so I'm down to three charges. Uh, so I can use that again. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So is that plus one bonus to your AC there all the time? Because that's what it sounds like. Like you have yeah, 19. Yeah, it's just. Oh a yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's why that's you have 19 yeah. AC and not sure, 18. Sure. So it's just 21. So, so it's, it's 21. 21 so he does actually hit you with the first one for 16. Okay, so, that's fine. And I'm then the second dead. one for 27 does also hit you. And I'm so, down. Yeah. I mean, he, he really wait, just... Wait, wait, He's going to use his repulsion shield before oh, the yeah. second you're right. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Boom. This is where you use the, the repulsion water. shield. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. And that's not a save, is it? No, it, it just isn't. So the first attack comes down, slices into you for 16 damage, taking you to I'm down to 4 HP. Single digit hit like... points, but the repulsion blasts him into the pond. Into the fucking water, 15 feet away. This is when it's useful. Um, <laughs> and he can't make it back to you because he's in the water now. So he does yeah. have enough movement to climb out of the water, but he can't make it back to you. So now he's his armor is soaking wet. He's at the side of this pond, and now the dogs are ready. Now the dogs descend <laughs> the on dogs him. Descend the dogs descend on him. Half of him. them run around the front of him, the other half like dive into the water behind him and swim up behind him, and they're all gonna start trying to bite him. Alright. Release the hounds. Roll your Snickers. eight they all have it they all have advantage. Roll your eight <laughs> dog attacks. From pack attacks. Um so it's gonna be a D20 plus four to hit. Okay. <laughs> Is there a way to roll with advantage? Just Wait, when you when you type it out, do you want me to quickly yeah. make what it, what is the stat sheet for dog? What's the macro? Uh, it's dog. sled dog. I did I linked yeah. it in there. Wait, wait, just, just tell me what the attack is. I'll just make it. I'll just make 1D20 the attack. plus four. One d twenty four plus two damage. Uh, two d four plus two. Um, edit in players journals all players. Um, save changes. Um, oh sweet. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, it should be there. Defog. It's called Defog. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I typed quickly. Understand what I meant. Okay. Right, the All right. There it is. Is it not there? Uh, is the attack not there? I don't have it. Don't oh, have no, it. no. I forgot to... I didn't put it in. So, what is it? 2d20 plus 4? And then the attack is 2d4 yep. plus... 2. Plus 2. And it's a bite, right? It's a bite, yeah. Okay, oh. it's there. It's there. And it, these all just roll with all right. advantage anyway. So, these just roll with advantage click, on my click that all eight right, times. Eight, eight bites. Eight bites. Bang. Yes. What the fuck? Well, that's sorry, sorry, correct. it's wrong. <laughs> yes! That's yes! not correct. <laughs> wrong. That's not correct. <laughs> what happened? It's supposed to be a D20 plus four. How did you get a D5? How did that happen? Wait, what? Oh, How did I fuck up that bud? No, you didn't fuck it up. No, that dog is just really. Oh, I'm really sorry. To, to hit yeah, should just be plus yeah, four, yeah. not a D20 plus four, because that's then it hilarious. rolls. It rolls two d20s. Okay. Uh, now it's good. Now it's good. Now you could do it eight times. All right. Yes. Twenty-one. Wow. Okay. One, two, three. That's a crit. Four, five. Wow. Six, two six, crits. Six, oh my one, god. Oh so my god. One, two, three, four. Okay. So does a twenty-one hit? Five. Five of them hit. Um, and Those the two nine. crits hit. Oh wait, no, no, thirty-five. That didn't so count. So yeah. five All of right. the eight bites hit, and two of them are crits. So. Okay. There's one, there's the crit, there's another crit, there's another one, there's another one. So there's five, five of them hit, right? Oh my, yeah. Um, so yeah. Plus seven. Oh shit, how many sevens are there? Four sevens, plus three, plus five, plus six. 42 damage! 42 yeah. damage, they just start mauling so him. Eight dogs rush Is General Bone and just... <laughs> Ironic that his name is General Bone and eight dogs are rushing him. <laughs> <Yes! laughs> and they start fucking gnawing at his body, I just, ripping I, him apart. I knock him in the pond, he gets out soaking wet and just rushes oh, yeah. gets mauled. Well, I just wanna I do wanna add a, a note for the anime adaptation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is when I summon the dogs, Cody went, fetch. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, um Okay. Every attack that hit him, he's gonna have to do a strength saving throw. I'll be knocked prone. I'll oh. be dragged prone. Oh, get back down into the water. He's having a rough day. Wait, yeah. Back but it's it's only DC 11, but he has to make five strength saving throws. <laughs> and if he fails any of them, he's prone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. He failed I the first one. He very critically failed the first one. 
<laughs> he failed two of them. So, yeah, yeah. The, are they dragging him into the water? They're just going to drag him, like, back down. Like, they're ripping at his oh, ankles yeah. and stuff so and he, pulling uh, him like, down. Like, like, half his ah! body is in the pod. Half his body is out. Yeah. All of the dogs are fucking pulling at his body. Uh, he's on the ground. Brutal. Norman, you're up. Does he look very weak? He, I'm where I'm oh, he looks. He looks. He looks so weak, dude. Norman's eyes turn like red or yellow, like some anime eyes. Like, like imagine yeah. like in One Piece when they get like super excited. It's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's gamer time, boys. And he like gets his like staff out, puts it behind his neck, and he's like, magic missile. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I, I, yeah. He he looks very weak. Magic missile might not kill him. That's okay. I'm gonna but go I'll, ahead. I'll, I'll, Regardless, I was gonna cast it at a higher level. As well. Oh shit! I, think I can, right? Go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I just get one extra slot per level. Per, per level, one extra, one extra missile. Fuck it, we're casting four. it at level four because so you I'm never casting three wall extra, of fire anyway. You're get, so you're casting three extra missiles, right? So you, it's already three missiles. So you're hitting it so six, six times. Oh, there's a chance here, actually. Yeah, I could do it. Go ahead. Three. Five. Eight, nah, ten, fourteen, eighteen. Eighteen. Oh my god. Okay, eighteen leaves him on single digit HP. He gets blasted. He, he's one. He is one as the as the, he is one. Bone Slaw has to make a death save. Uh which he fails, but Anthony General <laughs> Bone is on the ground, bloodied. Holes in his body from magic missile. Dogs all around him, gripping at his body. What do you? How do you want to? I mean, all right. You could miss. Now it's time for my master plan. The whole time, use my ray of frost on him from a distance and just fire that on him and just freeze him in the water. Is that a cantrip? Yeah. Yes. So this has a chance of not doing any damage if he succeeds the save. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. I know it's a rain. No, it's a ranged spell attack. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's it's a level, is it a level yeah. one spell? Yeah, no. It's oh no, a it's cantrip with level one spell. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So it has yeah. a chance of not doing any damage if you miss him. Yeah, if I miss him, it doesn't work. But there's not. I mean, is there anything I could do that could just auto hit? I don't have magic missile. Yeah, fair enough. Oh wait, shit! No, I do have magic missile. Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I don't have magic missile. Oh wait! <laughs> Anthony goes. No, no, that's part of a. That's part of an artificer spell. That's like one of the. That's one of the ones that's actually added in the book. So you yeah, can't yeah. say that's. That's bullshit on that. Yeah. One. Okay. Use magic right. missile then. I'll just use magic just missile. Just use your uh, three level one magic missile. That will probably kill him unless you roll yeah. shit. Well, let's find out. Oh. That's no. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Magic missile <laughs> is one d four plus one. So roll yeah, one d four plus one. one three times. You okay. might kill him with the first missile. Three d four plus three. You're definitely gonna kill him, though. I think. Three D four plus. Three. Yeah, just do three D four plus three. Okay. Minimum damage is six. Yeah, that's gonna kill him. Oh, that's <laughs> wow. That is almost as much as. <laughs> as I told you, that's knocking so you in the water would kill you. Missile. It's like the. <laughs> that's almost max damage magic missile. You, your magic missiles fucking pulverize him through his armor. Um, <laughs> his body gets ravaged. Yeah. He's fucking dead. Um, and they, he got brutalized. He got so he brutalized. He got ripped to shit he's by those so dogs. He's so strong. Like he's he's quite a strong adversary. But he. Oh man. He's the. But he got brutalized by ten dogs. I don't know, man. I mean, he t he hit me with a few crits, and he didn't really. I mean, he dealt damage. He didn't. But not crit, like, he never he crit you. It was the web bear that oh, crit Oh, with, with the whip. Yeah, yeah with the yeah. whip. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah, with the yeah. whip, he hit. Crit, maybe crit you. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Well, okay. He's taken care of. All right, guys, we're good. Who are all these one blood we're... force member left and one pretty major threat on the board. Yeah, that Cody, is currently who are all these a dogs? Web. Did did you summon these dogs? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> like seventy feet away. Where the fuck did all these dogs come from? <laughs> Cody, Cody, Cody. It is your turn before the session ends. All right. There is I'm a wear look down bear there, like Bone Slaw's body. I'm just gonna be like, I can't keep doing this. There is a wear bear um, roaring. All right, I'm in gonna front I'm gonna try and cast animal friendship on the wear bear. Go ahead. What does he um, have to do? So it lets me com convince a beast that I mean no harm to it and basically become friends with it. Um, is its intelligence four or higher? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Then it has to do a wisdom save. Wisdom save, DC for sixteen. Okay, 
I'll be charmed. Where bear? Okay. Um. Seven. Okay, he succeeds. So you go up. Well, I mean, what do you say? How do you how do you do this? It's gonna be like you know that like one Jurassic World scene where he's like I've never I've never seen rappers. any of the Jurassic yeah. Park movies. Oh yeah, my for everyone god! Else, you know the Jurassic World scene. <laughs> Where Chris Pratt's character is talking down the Velociraptors, that's going to be me. I'm going to be walking like, whoa, whoa there, Yog. Hey, come on, buddy. Hey, it's me, Cody. Remember I brought you back to life? Gave you uh, a second chance? Freed you? Yeah. I'm like, um, I want to get close enough to him yeah, that you, I'm like, you, you, you I'm right calm him, him down. I, I, I have my hands on him, right? I'm like holding his big werebear arms. I'm like, you good, buddy? It's it lasts okay. for the 24 over. hours? Yes, he's friends with okay. me for 24 hours. So yeah, he's like, he's just there now. And he's he, now he's peaceful. He actually sits down. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> as long as none of my companions damage him, this spell will he will continue to be charmed by me. Um, so that means if like the blood force or something attacks him, that's fine. But yeah. if one of my companions attacks yeah, him, it's yeah, yeah. So now he's sitting down. Um, All right, I've sat down the web there. There is still a blood force. Just as a free action, I do just want to turn to the blood force guy and says, "Your leader's dead, dude. All your friends are dead. We have a giant bear. Run." <laughs> Okay, I, I, I would like you to do a persuasion on that because he can't see that his leader's dead because there's so many dogs on him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a there's mound a of dogs. There's like a it's, pond he's full like, of dogs and it's turning it, red from and the blood. And a bunch blood. of steam like, too. My so leader like, yeah. will survive. He's general yeah. bone. Can you do a persuasion? It's an easy bone. check, but I need it. I can, uh, I you need to beat a 10. You need to beat a 10. Super good persuasion. Uh, but let's try. You need to beat a 10. I don't know. Uh, persuasion. Let me try this. There it is. Yeah, oh, okay, you yeah, in. Yeah, he fine. goes, Oh, that is a lot of blood in it. <laughs> uh, oh. An God. arm gets torn off and flies where away. Did, where, did you, where did you lad go? I, I want to head there. Um, you And then he, he, he runs off. All right. Cool. And that's it. That's your, the combat Good is fight, over. Guys. And we that, did is, it, that is a 2 be continued. Um, oy, oy, oy. But bef <laughs> We did it. Okay. Um, we'll cut back to the shark. Yeah! <laughs> Just if there's anything you want to do, the shark before the episode is over, as you're there, would you like? Um, uh, is there anything? Just I'll give you the opportunity to do it. If you don't want to do anything, then that's fine. But you and Julag I... are still sitting there. You've just hugged. I call over the barkeep, and after giving my Tommy gun to the stranger who seems like a kind of nice dude, I tell the bartender, and I'm giving you my bat. And I hand him it and I say, hang this oh, high weapons. above your bar because it is the end of an era and this carries more weight than you'll ever know in terms of the amount of blood that's oh. probably soaked into it. Well, uh, well, thank you. You still have to pay for your drinks, though. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> to, to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Oh, man. oh my god, All the right. shark is just weaponless now. Well, I guess he has his improvised he, Yeah, anything right? is a weapon for the shark. If he, if he must fight.